Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important updates. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid won the kit Adagule is unlikely to leave the club this summer and could start versus Real Sociedad, some reports have claimed, after Carlo Ancelotti stated after the Barcelona clash that he is going to hand the youngster the minute he wants. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress. And uh, shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid superstar goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois responds to Barcelona's complaint about the El Clasico refereeing. We are also going to be talking you detailly on that in this episode as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Over the past few weeks, there have been a lot of speculations and rumors surrounding the future of Real Madrid wonder kit Azagule. After all, the 19 years old wonder kit has played just 98 minutes since joining the club in the summer. Although it must be noted that he missed the entirety of the first half of the season due to three injuries back to back to back. It has given way to speculations that Adagule could be on his way out on a loan in the summer in order to play regularly and continue his development. Now though, Diaro RS reports that there are no plans for Adagule to leave Real Madrid in the summer transfer window. The 19 years old has indeed struggled to get minutes under Carlo Ancelotti and has not played in over a month since a cameo off the bench against Osasuna. Given the situation, there is no shortage of interest in the youngster either, with several clubs from Spain and outside willing to take him in on loan. However, Goulet has not asked to leave the club, nor are there any plans for him to leave at this stage. Instead, the youngster would remain at Real Madrid and fight for his place in the team. In fact, the report from RS states that Avagule could be set to make his first La Liga start for Real Madrid when they face Real Sociedad this week. With the La Liga title almost in the back and the Bayern Munich encounter next week, Ancelotti is expected to make changes to his team for Friday's game against Real Sociedad. As such, Goulet could be one of the beneficiaries with a start on the horizon for the Turkish international. Understand that after Real Madrid beat Barcelona in last week's El Clasico, Carlo Ancelotti came out to claim that he is now going to give Adar Goulet more minutes. That came after the merengue sealing an 11 point gap between arch rivals Barcelona with just six games to go in the season. Real Madrid will face Bayern Munich next week at the Allianz Arena in Germany for the first leg of the UEFA Champions League and it will be wise for Carlo Ancelotti to rest some players who have over been in action in recent times, having played 120 minutes against Barcelona, against Manchester City and some play 90 minutes against Barcelona in the weekend. Players like Goulet will be wise options for the manager to use as he will be looking to rest some key stars. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid superstar goalkeeper Tibor Courtois responds to Barcelona's complaint about the El Clasico refereeing. Following the 3-2 win over Barcelona on Sunday night, Real Madrid have one hand 
in the La Liga title as they have opened up an 11-point lead with six games left. The Clasico victory, though, brought with it some controversy as Barcelona were left far from pleased by the refereeing on the night. The current league champions were unhappy with the penalty given over Paul Kubasi's foul on Lucas Vasquez and also called for a red card for Eduardo Camavinga for a foul on Lamin Yamal. But the biggest protest have been surrounding Yamal's disallowed goal, with Barcelona president Juan Laporta even saying that they might push for a replay. Real Madrid players and staff have not drawn into all the noise surrounding the refereeing and the VAR calls from the El Clasico on Sunday. But the first choice goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois, currently recovering from injury, was asked about what he thought of Barcelona's complaint about the game earlier and he said, I am not going to go into it. It is very easy to see with technology. He told El Golazo the goal. Having suffered a fresh injury setback last month, after recovering from his ACL rupture, Couture surprised everyone by returning to training with the group last week. While his recovery is going good, the Belgian ace made it clear that he is in no rush to return to the field and is happy to see Andre Lunin perform. Little by little, I am seeing Lunin very well, so there is no rush. When I feel good, I will see when I can play, he explained. In principle, it is expected that Couture will not be playing again this season and will only make his comeback once the new campaign gets on the way. The Belgian shortstopper was even ruled out for the upcoming Euros slated to take place in Germany. But the goalkeeper completed speedy recovery and was even slated to face Manchester City in the second leg of the Champions League and available for the semi-finals if Real Madrid did push through against Bayern Munich which is slated to take place next week. But that was not going to happen as the goalkeeper again got injured in his right knee, which is the reason why he has been kept out for a while now. Recovery is almost complete. Although he is not going to take part this season for Real Madrid, but he is in poor contention to start in goal for Belgium when they challenge for the Euro title. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.